Hello people, welcome back to Food Glam Life. I hope you're doing very well today. It's almost the end of the year, as in 2017 is almost over and I don't know about you but I felt like this went by so quickly. Every year it just seems like this is happening where it just gets the, the time just flies by and you don't even know where it went. And it's kind of sad but at the same time everyone gets excited about the new year and you hope to have a better year and I hope all of you will have a better 2018 than 2017. So today's video is kind of a wrap up to the year. It's been... So I think I did my first ever video. I should, I should remember these dates but I'm bad with that. So I, it was July. July 2017. I'm almost at the six month mark and I'm very excited. I think I've managed to do around like 30 videos and uh, and I'm really grateful for the support that you guys have given me so far and you know every time you like the video or you comment or you come back to my Instagram and you you know you're telling me these things it, it really gives me a boost of confidence and anytime when I feel like ah, I don't know if I should be doing this anymore I'll get a comment and then I'm like okay I guess I need to do another video so thank you so much thank you for your suggestions and your feedback anyway so um, hold tight because I think this is going to be a very long video I'm going to try to talk as little as I can and I know that's going to be a little difficult so let's get into what this video will be about basically I want to talk about my personal favorites or bests of the year 2017 and so what that means basically is that I know a lot of people are going to be doing their yearly roundups I wanted to talk about those products that I reached for the most in the year 2017 and of course those are the products that I purchased and I, ha I personally own you know one of the drawbacks of being in Pakistan is that you don't have access to all the latest and newest makeup that's available either internationally whether it's in the drugstore or it's at Sephora it takes us a little time even if we order it to get it or if we're traveling so I'm not going to be talking about you know the best makeup of 2017 that's come out or whatever no some of the makeup I'm going to talk about is maybe new and some of it is not so new it's 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 old but I'm talking about those things that went every day no not every day I don't do my makeup every day I'm going to be talking about those products that every time I did my makeup I would reach for the most so whether that was for a light everyday kind of look or whether that was for a kind of a glam going out kind of a look whichever it is so I'm going to try to be as comprehensive as I can if you own any of these products let me know how they work for you and whether or not you like them as well and if you don't maybe you would consider purchasing it bearing in mind that you may have the same sort of skin um, sort of complexion or skin issues I'm a dry skin girl so if you have those kind of similar requirements or issues etc etc all right let's get started I have my notes here so I stay on track <laughs> so uh, so I thought I'd just start with you know the way we build up our makeup so I start with with primer again there are going to be at least two options in all of the categories I'm talking about uh, just because I can't just have one favorite. Anyway, so uh, this year, the two primers that I really enjoyed using and I reached for the most, one was uh, the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. This one is extremely affordable. I, you know, it's, it's really well made. It's got a nice pump. It pumps out transparent and, um, and it's great for people who have extremely dry skin like me. I get uh, really, really dry on my cheeks, under my eyes and in my t-zone as well so this is this is the area that I use uh, most of my primers which is basically the center of my face this is a great affordable option and I highly recommend it the other one that's more that I started use, using more recently is the Ordinary's High Spreadability Fluid Primer I've heard mixed reviews about this some people really didn't like it they felt like it made their makeup move too much Again, I think this is not meant for people with oily skin or maybe even combination skin 
because if you get an oily t-zone it might start breaking up your makeup however if you have extremely dry dehydrated kind of skin then i do believe the ordinary primer is going to work for you just because this is a skincare line and i, I think a lot of their products are made with very um emollient ingredients the interesting thing about this is that it doesn't have any water or any um alcohol the texture is really thin and it's very very it's got a lot of slip to it moving on uh let's get into foundation and the way i did the foundation is i have a you know light coverage sort of everyday kind of foundation and then there's one that i believe has a little heavier uh coverage i don't normally tend to go for full coverage foundations just because i don't feel like i need it and also I always feel like something's sitting on my skin. Although I don't, I don't mind trying them out uh, if if it feels comfortable for me. I don't mind having some of my spots or flaws show at least for an everyday sort of thing. And I feel like most medium coverage foundations can build up, so that's where I'm going with this. And in the light coverage foundation, I'm going to include BBCC cream. So. I have to give a shout out to my IT Cosmetics CC Cream. This is great. You can wear it uh, without sunblock. It's got an SPF of, of 50. It's got an anti-aging hydrating serum in it. And it's got really good coverage for a CC Cream. I mean, personally, I think it does a pretty decent job. And it gives a really nice glow to your skin as well. The other foundation that, again, I started using very recently and I did like it and also which has had some uh, negative reviews but again worked for me because I guess I have dry skin. It's this Ordinary Serum Foundation which is a lightweight formula. Anyway, so some people apparently don't like the coverage uh, foundation I believe it's called. It's by The Ordinary. I haven't personally tried it so I cannot talk about that but I can say that the serum foundation is extremely lightweight. It, it, it's extremely light coverage even though the the shade that i ended up buying was um was a tad bit too light for me with bronzer it it sort of balanced out and my favorite part about this and i think if you haven't seen my review on it is the fact that i didn't need to set it with a powder coming back to the fact that i'm i have dry skin i like the fact that i don't have to put more powder on my skin just because even adding that powder kind of just take some moisture out of your skin. Moving on to foundation with a little more coverage. This year, the foundation that I enjoyed the most in terms of when I wanted to go out and wanted a little more coverage. One is, this one's not new, but I love this foundation. It's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD uh, Invisible Cover Foundation. This is a beautiful foundation. It gives you a lovely natural finish. The quality is really good. Of course, it's on the higher end because it's Makeup Forever, but it's really it's one of those foundations that will not let you down again I cannot speak on behalf of ladies with oily skin but I feel like it gives a very natural finish it's neither very dewy nor nor is it very matte I think it just makes your skin look airbrushed and flawless and the best way to apply it is with a beauty blender for me I mean a brush works as well but I prefer a beauty blender just for that very flawless kind of look the other one that I really, really enjoyed and I was very, very, very pleasantly surprised by was the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. I've done my review on this, so if you haven't seen that, be sure to check it out on my channel. This is just great because it's a, it, it's definitely a medium coverage foundation, but it's highly, highly buildable. It's made in Korea and I think that's where the whole cushion foundation idea started. I haven't personally tried any Korean makeup brands where with the the cushion foundation i'm not against trying it but mostly whenever i've tried to look for them they have very very few shade ranges and they're usually very light and this this shade was perfect for me it's a warm nude and i think maybelline is really good in terms of getting shades i mean they have a whole bunch of shades in the fit me line as well the fit me foundation is an excellent foundation drugstore option i don't think you can go wrong and to be quite honest, I think it's a great dupe for the Makeup Forever foundation. So if you don't want to get this, you could always get the Fit Me. Alright, next up is concealer. Oh god, I have quite a few over here. Uh, my obvious favorite, I don't think 
you know there's any doubt about this for this year it has been the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. If you haven't had the opportunity to get this I would highly recommend that you try it out. It's the only concealer you'll find in the market that has a, a doe foot that's this massive. But what it does, it gives you a lot of coverage. This is a full coverage concealer. And the only thing I would uh, recommend with this is do one side first. You have to work very quickly with it because it does tend to you know, dry up very quickly. So do one side, then move to the other. And if you have really, I'm not wearing it today, but if you have really bad under eye circles, a salmon, peach, orange corrector, followed by the shape tape will have you covered. Okay. In terms of drugstore options, I want to say uh, the Maybelline Fit Me and the Master Conceal, Maybelline Master Conceal by Face Studio. This is also full coverage. They don't have too many shade options, but this is the light medium and it works. It's a really good color for me. I have to also talk about the Maybelline Age Rewind. This is this is a very good everyday kind of a concealer. The one I the shade that I have is a medium. I just don't think it's full coverage enough to sort of cover all my really dark circles. They'll sort of always peek out, but for an everyday sort of thing, I don't mind it. And it's very quick to use with the sponge tip applicator. Next, we have bronzer. My ultimate favorite bronzer for this year has been, without a doubt, the Butter Bronzer by uh, Physicians Formula. This bronzer is so natural. It it's so easy to apply the only problem might be is that if you have a darker complexion this might not show up so i don't know what else to say about that for lighter skin people they do have a light shade and then this is their it doesn't say medium or anything this is just their default option it smells really nice it smells like a pina colada kind of it gives me the sort of color that i want and it's I love it. The other thing that I would like to mention, because this is not really bronzer, is this, oh sorry, is the Face Form Contouring and Blush Palette by Sleek. I didn't use the highlight or the blush. I have used them, but I don't use them as much, although they're both very pretty colors. I don't even know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see the, the blush. The, the contour shade in this is very nice, very cool toned, so I like to use this uh, for a for my contour. This is something that I did reach for quite a bit. Uh, when it comes to blush, two of my favorite go-to blushes for this year have been the Sephora Colorful. This is the shade number five called Sweet On You. It's just a very, very pretty pink peach shade. It's not fully pink and it's not fully peach. It's very, very nice. It's very subtle. It's not like over the top. I realize I don't like very, very super duper pigmented blushes because you can always build up with blush, but you know, if you put too much on, it's just, it's, uh, it's not, it's not, it's not a good look. The other one that I really, really loved was the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Party. This is a very, very nice neutral kind of everyday shade. This is the blush that I'm wearing right now and I just really like it, I think. You can wear it for an everyday kind of look or you can even put it on, on days when you want, you know, maybe you've amped up something else and you don't want your blush to be like right moving on to highlight highlight is something that i've really been going crazy over uh two of my favorite options have been drugstore one that i don't think needs any introduction is the wet and wild highlight in precious petals i do also have crown on my canopy it's a little dark so in terms of shade i have to say that this is just beautiful beautiful it's buildable so you can make it really 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 pop and at the same time, it can be subtle as well. The other drugstore option that I really enjoy and I have also reviewed previously is the Master Chrome Highlight by Maybelline. Again, this is by Face Studio. All the master line stuff is by Face Studio, but it is Maybelline. This is said to be a dupe for the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. It's got a very buttery formula, and look at that. And it's just such a nice, like a champagne gold. You know, I don't know if you can see the difference with the with the precious petals and this the precious petals has slight more pink in it 
and this is more of a yellow not not yellow gold but like more of a champagne gold and it's just beautiful it can really help your makeup pop and this is something i highly recommend it's very affordable on a higher end range i have to talk about the becca opal again this was part of my sephora haul now you can see how bright and reflective this is i'm just going to show you sort of a comparison they're very very similar and in this light they're going to look even more similar but right, this is the becca one and at the end i don't even know if you can see it in, in the light but this is the one i have on right now and it's just so beautiful it's like you've been dripped in candlelight and i mean you're just reflecting i honestly like highlighters that can be subtle if you want them to and then if you want to build them up you know use a little bit of setting spray and then put them on that's that's the sort of highlight I that I feel is something so universal because not everyone wants like, you know, the whole glowing to the heavens kind of uh, highlight, but not so intense that it starts showing my texture and just making my skin look worse. But at the same time, I do like it when, you know, the light hits it and it's got this really nice glow. So that's, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, moving along, moving along. Not taking a break. Eyeshadow, let's get down to eyeshadow. Okay, eyeshadow I have a few and I sort of have it divided in terms of like the first quarter, second quarter sort of thing. Um, or quarter or I would have to say thirds. So the beginning of this year, I... I had acquired the Sleek Eye Divine Ultra Mats version 2. This has been a very affordable purchase for me. It's got 12 shades in it. They're all mattes, but they've got really, really great pigmentation. It's got a great shade range in it as well. The pigmentation has been really great in this, and I and I did use it a lot. The only thing is, because it's all matte, there are no shimmers, so you do have to complement it uh, with another palette. That being said, it's got it's got a great selection and the fact that it has a black and these this green and purple it makes it very versatile i still use it a lot it, okay and then in the middle of the year i acquired my modern renaissance palette i don't think this needs any introduction if you enjoy makeup and you follow either other youtubers and instagram accounts you will know that this is a favorite this has been for me as well even though i sort of tend to shy away from very red based shades because sometimes i would be like oh i look like i have a swollen eye or like an infection or something like the pink or the red is not suiting you but i did become more comfortable with it i do have to say that despite you know these reds which you can blend in very well uh, you know this whole quad over here these are great warm transition shades the dark brown in this is is an excellent accent color even this real gar this orangey color I, in fact i have used this palette today for my eye look and i'm really happy because i didn't want to do something really heavy and that's the great thing about it you can do a really really intense eye look as well as something very light as well and i think those kind of palettes are the most successful. And then towards the end of the year, I made this amazing like discovery and I was just so excited about it. I found out about this website called Shop Hush. They're being a little difficult now because they're trying to move a whole bunch of their products, especially by this brand called Bad Habit, onto their app which is not available for download in Pakistan and you know I have contacted them but it's just I don't know if we're going to be getting anywhere with that. This uh, uh, this palette, the Aphrodite palette has mostly been sold out i got it after like three or four attempts this is the best ten dollar eyeshadow purchase that i've ever made it's uh if you don't know if you haven't seen my video it's a huda beauty rose gold palette dupe and it's got some beautiful beautiful pigmented mattes as well as these foiled shadows which are just really nice to use and they're very nice if you want to use them for like a party look, a wedding, mendi, those kind of looks. I think this is really really nice for that. I've been using it a lot for that. I actually have to get make an acknowledgement for the Jaclyn Hill, Morphe X Jaclyn Hill and this is the fake one I know. Uh, I'm sure the real one's even better, but I have to say this one has some of some really nice, really usable shades. The shimmer that I have on the middle of my eye is actually this one here. So I have to say that the shimmers in this palette are really, really good. The matte browns, this this area I'll say is not that great, but this entire section is just 
is amazing and for the price it's been great you know it's got some really really rich shades and pigmentation and some of these shades I really enjoyed using and the best part was considering it was fake I did not have any reaction and I'm really really grateful for that so yeah I'm gonna continue using it next up is eyeliner I love myself a really nice black eyeliner so I have to talk about the Kat Von D tattoo liner I know I'm showing the ink liner right now but but this is exact almost exactly what it looks like I have one that's unopened and I just didn't want to take it out I am using the ink liner these days if you don't know the story why I am please go check out my Sephora haul video the other one that I really wanted to mention that I have been using continuously is the NYX matte liquid liner this is the one that comes out with a brush tip and this I feel like is the best for filling in and making a really nice defined point and wing. And then we're going to talk about mascara. I love my Kiko Extra Sculpt. This is the waterproof version mascara. This one has uh, the brush is shaped like the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. It's kind of, It's got a divot in the middle and then it's raised from both sides. It really goes in and coats your lashes very well. The other one that I really have been enjoying and I think it's just an excellent is the Benefit They're Real. It's got like this sort of a semi-circular ball at the end which I feel is really good to get the bottom lashes and it really coats uh, it's it's a very wet kind of mascara, but at the same time, it's not clumpy, which is great. And if you want a great drugstore option, this is something that I have talked about, at least on Instagram, is the Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour. This is a lash extension mascara, which is in the purple shade. And this has a very interesting, it's sort of reverse of the Kiko one because... You know, it's kind of tapered, then it bumps out, and then it gets really tapered on its head. And that really helps you get it into, you know, the real inner corners. I tend to poke my eye a lot with mascara, so I have to be very careful, and I like this tip on this. Okay, so next I'd like to talk about lipsticks. However, I must say that lipsticks is going to deserve an entire video on its own because I really didn't know how to do this. I like to change up my lipstick a lot and I can't really say which one I reached for the most. However, I did, you know, sort of come up with, you know, some in terms of their shade and then some in terms of the formula, like all rounder. This year I really enjoyed the Liquid Catsuit Lipsticks by Wet n Wild. These are, again, extremely affordable. Some people do feel like they're very drying. I've noticed that once they dry down, if you just, you know, even if you lick your lips or you just take a little bit of water and just pat them down, it does make a difference. And always do remember anytime you're using matte liquid lipstick formulas, make sure your lips are scrubbed and that you have put on a lip balm before. Just because if you have dry lips, this is just going to really suck. The moisture out of them. Another formula that I really love and again is really really affordable is this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is especially good for those people like me. I love liquid lipsticks that are more like creams and um, like a have a whipped mousse kind of texture versus being really liquidy because for me the liquid formula just sort of goes tends to spread everywhere. This is this shade I've used a lot. This is Prague. It's a beautiful, beautiful pink. The other one that I ended up using a lot, and this again, this is a very liquidy kind of formula, so is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte, and the shade that I really enjoyed using was Trophy Wife. Then I wanted to talk about some reds. I love this Sephora Red Lipstick in this shade 01. This is a very beautiful, very universal shade. Another Winner is the Ruby Woo by MAC, except this is extremely, extremely matte, so you really have to, especially in the winter, it kind of dries a bit, so you have to warm it up before you put it on. Another beautiful formula, very creamy, very easy to apply, is the Urban Decay. What is this line called? I don't even know. It just says Rouge à Lèvres. But this is the shade Cat Fight, again, in my hot pink shades that I like. Something that's available locally that you should definitely try out is the Diana of London lipsticks. This is the shade Dragon Fruit. This is the Diana Pure Addiction uh, lipstick collection. And this is a very creamy, very 
very beautiful formula. I do believe they also have, I think it's called A Thousand Kisses or something, Diana of London Liquid Lipsticks. So they have beautiful colors in that as well. I don't personally own any, but I did swatch them and I did think they were really nice. And then finally, I have to mention the, the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer, and this gloss. This is the shade Unreal. I can't say enough about it. It's heavy packaging. It's not, it does not feel drugstore. I highly, highly, highly recommend these. And then let's quickly talk about setting sprays. Two setting sprays that I really used a lot this year. This was, this had, uh, is really dirty because it was in my makeup bag while I was traveling and I think my bronzer broke. I think it was a, the the Physician's Formula bronzer. I loved it so much, I had to buy another one. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is great. Uh, is in the travel size. And then the NYX, I actually wanted to get the Dewey formula, but I don't know what happened. Maybe I didn't see it or it wasn't available on the site that I was ordering from. But the matte finish is also really nice. And honorable mentions, I wanted to talk about dry shampoo. I have been trying to reduce shampooing my hair very often. And a great way to deal with the whole sort of oiliness that builds up on your roots is to use dry shampoo. A great drugstore option that I love is the Pantene dry shampoo. I have to give a shout out to Tati because it's because of her that I ended up buying this and I really like it. It goes on clear. I feel like that is the best part. Another one that is a is more high-end, is more expensive, is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day and you know this they say actually cleans. Both of them smell really good. This leaves a white film so in that way i kind of prefer the pantene one because i know you can like it's just that you just have to work with your hair so much to get that white cast out and i i don't really like that too much and then really quickly i want to talk about some skincare products like just in terms of moisturizing i really enjoyed the ordinary i use like a cocktail of these um, I got the Natural Moisturizing Factors plus HA, which is hyalur hyalur Hyaluronic Acid. And then there's their Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. And their 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rosehip Seed Oil, which has been, um, they've been great. Rosehip Oil is really great if you have scars. I had somewhat of a little minor accident this earlier this year, and I got a major scratch down my nose. And I don't know if you've noticed when I apply my eyeshadow, I have a, which one I think it's on this eye, yeah. I have a scratch on my eye. The, the one on my nose has almost completely gone away. Rosehip oil for scars is excellent if you do have those kind of, like, a deep cut or something on your skin and you have a scar that you want to recover, your, uh, that you want to heal your skin from. Do use rosehip oil, of course, organic is best because it's least refined and most effective and then uh, so these are the things I usually use at in the daytime and then at night I love using my Palmer's skin therapy face oil this again has vitamin C retinol vitamin E <coughs> cocoa butter other restorative oils including rosehip oil in it as well and it's got multi-purpose anti-aging skin benefits I love using this at night after I wash my face sometimes I'll mix it with my Kiehl's midnight recovery solution and just you know let it seep into my skin again if you have dry skin I highly recommend this this is available in Pakistan and it is not that expensive it's it's like maybe thousand or eleven hundred rupees and really it a little bit goes a long way this will last you a long time anyway so oh god that was just such a long video I, you know i get really uh, conscious of the fact that my videos go on too long thank you for hanging around and watching the whole video if you have come to this point but that was the roundup my roundup for the year 2017 and again i want to thank you for all your support and hope you will continue to support me if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up share it you're welcome to share it Leave me a comment down below. What would you like me to do for next year? Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the ring bell button if you want to get notifications. Acha, idhar mein apne subscribers se Urdu mein baat karna chahungi. Main aapse ek sawal puchna chahti hu. Mujhe kuch feedback mili thi ki shayad main bahut zada English mein bolti hu aur mujhe thodi si Urdu aur Minglish apni videos mein incorporate karni chahiye. आप मुझे बताएं अगर आप मेरे वीडियोस देखते हैं कि या आप क्या प्रेफर करते हैं कि मैं सिर्फ इंग्लिश में बात करूं और इसकी वजह जो थी 
सिर्फ इंग्लिश में बात करने की वो इसलिए थी कि सम ऑफ माई सब्सक्राइबर्स आर नॉट ओनली फ्राम साउथ एशिया दे आर फ्राम अदर कंट्रीज एंड दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड उर्दू लेकिन अगर आप चाहते हैं कि मैं कोई ऐसा वीडियो बनाऊँ जो ख़ास तौर से आपके लिए सिर्फ उर्दू या इंग्लिश में हो तो प्लीज़ डू लेट मी नो आई वुड लव टू डू दैट फॉर यू और अगर नहीं अगर आप चाहते हैं कि मैं ऐसे ही कंटिन्यू रखूँ इंग्लिश में ही बोलती रहूँ तो फिर वो भी मुझे बताएं मैंने इस पर एक सर्वे किया था अपने इंस्टाग्राम पे इंस्टा स्टोरीज पे और बहुत फिफ्टी फिफ्टी रिजल्ट आया था प्लीज लेट मी नो इन द कॉमेंट्स आई आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू डू थिंग्स दैट यू विल एन्जॉय दैट यू विल वॉच and that you will learn from that being said i wish you a very beautiful end of the year happy holidays and i wish you a tremendous tremendous new year thank you so much for the support and love you've shown me so far i look forward to seeing you next year take care and goodbye mwah